Hey succulent fans, welcome to my succulent collection. Unfortunately, this year my collection is somewhat infested with mealybugs, so I wanted to show you how I attack my mealybug infestation. My tools are a piece of thick wire. This is, happens to be bonsai wire, but anything with a little sharp end will work. My friend calls this the stabbing wire. He has one too, actually. We happen to both do this and uh, didn't realize till later that we had the same tactic. I have Q-tips, rubbing alcohol from the store. I use either an insecticidal soap or right now this is just filled with more rubbing alcohol because I ran out a couple weeks ago and haven't bothered to pick more up. And then I finish up with neem oil, which keeps the mealy bugs from coming back. So when I have a plant that I found mealy bugs on, I start by using my wire to just stab the adult ones. They're usually pretty large and you can just poke them pretty easily. That way I know that they're gone and I can also use the wire to get in between the little leaves that I don't want to damage. So mealybugs tend to be either in the top of the plant where the new growth is because that's what they eat, but you'll also find them frequently on the stems in between and under the leaves. So I always look thoroughly and then I go in and I just stab and should probably have a tissue, but I just wipe off anything that I find. After I've done that, I go through with a Q-tip dipped in rubbing alcohol, and I wipe away any of the, the white fluffy nests that I can see. So, sometimes you can get your Q-tip in there, but if you can't always, that's what the, the wire is handy for. I actually see a little bit of white right there that I can't quite get to with my Q-tip. Next, I like to come in with my insecticidal soap or just pure rubbing alcohol. Sometimes I'll mix, mix some dish soap in too and just spray them down. I skip this step if I have a succulent with a lot of powder on it and I don't want to damage the appearance. So for some of those, I'll just use the wire and followed by the Q-tips and then I have some that are very powdery. They almost look white, they're so powdery, that I don't want to damage and they're favorite part of my collection. They're kind of rare, so I use just the stabbing stick and it just takes uh, more frequency doing it every other day or every few days to make sure that you get them all over a few months due to the mealybug life cycle. So after I've sprayed it all down with rubbing alcohol or insecticidal soap, I like to follow up with neem oil and just spray around the bases to keep the mealybugs from wanting to come back. They're, they don't like this. I like to use the neem oil last because I don't want the rubbing alcohol to wash away the neem oil. All right, and I do that about once a week, so every weekend if I'm using the full treatment, and then every few days if I'm only using mechanical methods of poking them and stabbing them and wiping them away. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, and thank you for visiting my succulent collection. Stay tuned for more videos.